Okay, so parents, I'm going to show you how to read a book like this to your children. I'm going to send this home in one of the packages that you guys are going to get. And we call this an interactive book. So in our classroom, we use a lot of materials that are laminated and then have Velcro. The lamination really lets it last a lot longer because sometimes the kids can be a little rough with just paper. So we laminate a lot. So I laminated this book for all of you guys to have a copy at home. Right now while we're home, it's so important to be washing hands as frequently as we can. It's a skill that we work on in school every day with your child as well as during our health lessons every week. And right now is the best time to really drive this point home. So I'm giving you a book that you can work on with your child. And I'm going to show you how I would do it if your child was sitting right here in front of me. Okay, so the book is called I Can Wash My Hands. And over here I have several pictures. And the pictures are all velcroed to the paper. Okay? I turn on the warm water. What's that? That's a sink. We can find a sink in the bathroom, a sink that looks like this. There's also sinks in our kitchen. Sometimes we have a sink in the basement. So we're going to find the picture over here of the sink. Now, it's very overwhelming for your child to look at all of these pictures together. And it's hard for them sometimes to pick the one out that we want them to match. So sometimes I will take two pictures off, I'll put the book down, and I'll hold them up. This is called a field of two. I would hold them up and say to your child, touch sink. I use very limited language, two words at a time, three words maybe at the most. And then I would hold it up like this. And then maybe if the child is reaching towards this one, I would put this one closer to them so that they can reach it a little bit more easily and they would see, oh, this is the one she wants me to touch, okay? So you can take off two pictures and present it. If you think two pictures is too much, just hold one, touch sink. So you really want to isolate that picture that they're working for, okay? And then once they touch it, they'll take it and I'll say to them, put on, just like that, a very simple direction, put on. Your children are very familiar with this language. They know what it means. When they have a picture that's got Velcro in it, on it, in their hands, they know it needs to go somewhere. So they're gonna put on here. And you might want to point, put on, so they know where to put this picture, okay? We'll go to the next page. I get my hands wet. Where do we get our hands wet? At the sink. So now we're gonna match that picture. So again, you can take the two pictures off, the one of them getting their hands wet and the soap maybe, hold up that field of two. Then you're gonna tell them, put on once they choose the right picture. So here we go. And this is just matching. So they're matching the same picture, even though this is a little smaller. This can still be challenging for some, so be patient, give them the time that they need to process the question you're asking them, okay? I put soap on my hands. So we're gonna find the soap, present it to your child in a field of two or a field of one, put on, and you're gonna go through the book that same way for every page. And I would talk a little bit about it. Like this picture, I scrub my hands together. You know what they're telling us? that it's best to wash our hands for 20 seconds. And if we sing happy birthday while we scrub our hands, that takes about 20 seconds. So you can sing happy birthday with your child. And if we look over here at our birthday chart, Femi has a birthday coming up. So it's great practice to start learning how to sing happy birthday and get used to that song because we have a birthday to celebrate next month. So you can elaborate a little bit about the pictures when you're reading to your child. I rinse my hands. Same thing when they're doing it under the sink. I tell your children, make sure you get all the bubbles off. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Keep doing that. Oh, I still see bubbles. Rinse, rinse. So we kind of talk through the process as we're going over how to teach this skill. I turn off the water. So now we go back to that sink picture. We have another one here. We're going to turn off the water. And then the water will be all done. You can say that. All finished. Several of your children know that phrase as well. I dry my hands with a paper towel. Now this book is really made to be used in school where we have a paper towel dispenser like that. So you are doing it at home and I'm sure none of you have these hanging in your bathroom. So you can just say, I dry my hands with a towel if you'd like. And here's the matching picture to go with it. Oh, and I throw the towel away. Again, you're not really doing this at home, but maybe you have a laundry bin and maybe you want to have them throw the towel into the laundry bin when they're done. That's fine too. And 
and that's the end of our story. So that's how you would do an interactive book with your child. So this is one that I'm sending home. We have another one that we're working on. So you're going to be seeing some of these types of materials come home as well. And now you know how, the, how we do them here at school and you can do it at home.